Good day there everyone, how's it going? Welcome to Against the Moon. This game is a turn-based strategy game, so let's dive into the prologue here, check out the gameplay. This is a dynamic story, it's a good place to start. Arcs, the last stronghold of humanity on Earth. The planet is now fully under the control of the Furos, a vicious species designed by humans centuries past but now guided by the corrupt moon. The ancient city's infrastructure and defenses are badly degraded and require a constant supply of Luma, that enigmatic energy source upon which so much relies. With the human population in steady decline, faces everywhere are downcast and grim. Hope is fading. Galdir. One of Ark's most famous Ulturi sensed an unusual warp in the universal Luma flow. He was busy training a squadron of new recruits for the city guard. Recent data predicted more than 25% of them will die during their first year of service, either from the unrelenting moonstorms or during city maintenance operations. Despite these foreboding numbers, every student was quietly content to be training with the legend. Galdir was careful to conceal his unease about the Luma field from the youngsters. His task is to inspire. Whatever the trouble, the old Turi would deal with it. Ark City herself, the living mother goddess of humanity, first picked up the signal from Sophia, the Theurgo old Turi. The signal's origin was far from the city walls in an area plagued with intense Furos activity. For Arks, the picture was clear. It was Arx who sent her on this secret mission, and she alone knew the consequences should Sophia not survive. Arx communicated a short message to Galdir. No other Alture was included on the transmission. My child, gather your courage. I need you to collect my sarcophagus for an urgent mission. You must leave the city immediately. Tell no one. Let your wisdom guide me, mother, and I will be the weapon in your hands. Ark's consciousness, sheathed in an ancient device known as the sarcophagus, followed Galdir out of the city. Together, they headed into Furo's territory. Galdir scanned their surroundings constantly, ready to counter any threat. The only place he never allowed his eyes to stray was the bleak, gray disk of the corrupted moon above. All right, and there's a bit of a story for you guys. You are a scouts have tracked us down. Do what you must, my son. Defensive strategy is our best course of action. Protect the sarcophagus. Alrighty. These guys are called Furos. They're the moon's servants and humanity's sworn enemies. Everyone has an attack value and HP. All right. This guy, his real skill is using Luma to defend his allies. Okay. Let's chuck a minion out. This guy has four health, three attack. This is optimal. Each power has an associated Luma cost to play. Yep, cool. And our turn. Euros will swarm us. Gaudia protect my sarcophagus above all else. Calm yourself, goddess. Victory shall be mine. We must protect the sarcophagus at all costs. Cool. Each turn we can uh, use more uh, of our Luma. And do minions, Magicka. Magicka is a direct attack, it's going to deal two damage. Yes, crush them. We should focus on the leader. Win the battle against the Furos, you should destroy their leader. 
Alright, and win the battle. Done, we can do that. Alright, I'll we'll chuck him here. Need one more damage. Level complete. I sense the surge of raw power in this place. My mm -hmm. dearest Mother Art, please help me tap into this wellspring of Luma Flow. Agreed. Galdir's powerful forearms bulge as he kneels before his massive gauntlet, Earth Splitter, like a man worshipping at an altar. The Santitas Ultore are famous for their unbreakable discipline and martial prowess. This ritual is learned only by the greatest among them. No Duros may stand against me now. This power is almost limitless. But Arx, I sensed a rift during the ritual. Something powerful is stalking us. Whatever it may be, there is no time. We must move at once if we are to save Sophia. These viewers sense so dangerous, let's elim eliminate them as quickly as possible. Something big is approaching. Okay. Minions have our special abilities. This one deals damage to the enemy in the mirrored position when entering the battlefield. Okay. Cool. Big guy. He's a wicked beast mixed between beast and machine. He has a lot of health, but not so much attack. Whenever there are three or more, well. Whenever there are three or more behemoths on the battlefield, gain plus eight attack and plus eight HP. Oh, damn. They keep coming. God, so I was born for war. Let's focus this one down. Oh, he has more health now because there's some um, more of them. They're overwhelmed by corrupted power of the moon. Points five long under such influence. Time to show them the true might of the Utori. Every character has an ultimate ability. Once we have enough uh, energy, we can activate that. Generate one energy per turn. And this will give us an extra energy. Use that. Now we can use our ultimate. Stun three enemy creatures. Well, how convenient that there's three of them. Down they go. Now we must eliminate their leader. The music's pretty good. Just need three more damage on their leader. Easy. Just pack him over here. <laughs> Down he goes. With three 
decisive strikes, Galdir destroyed the final Furos. Even during the most frenzied combat, his will never wavered, his speed never slackened, his mind remained as clear as a freshwater pool. Indeed, Ulture are more than merely human. They are the hope of humanity. The moon is active today. I can feel her poisonous attention. She will attempt to stop us, but I have a plan. Yes, I sense her testing my will, but Yago Dogma protects me. Goddess, did the ancestors abide by dogmas as we St. Titus do? They do not follow any dogmas, Galdir. It is why they were doomed to fall. The body of this Duro still contains an undamaged Arcana sail. I should consume it to enhance my abilities. That is wise. We must take whatever advantage we can. I hope this Furos lived a short life. How is this important? These cells contain both the energy and identity of the Furos. When you consume it, you absorb all the experience stored inside, which is why it is sometimes quite painful. Be brave, my son, and hurry. The moon's presence grows with every passing minute. Okay, well, we've got an Akina cell. Virtually a brain? Guy like eats brains. This is our collection of powers available to us. Ready to uh, consume the Arcana cells. Useful to expand our Arcana and add new powers. Granted by the, the Arcana cells are highly dependent on the individual experience of the host Furos. Right, so we can add one of these. Initiation stun this minion. Generate plus two shields. Generate plus one Luma. Grab this guy. Can generate more Luma for us as we go on. Something big is about to happen. Celestial Tyrant is angry. All right, on to the next level here. Another pack of Furos. Hate caterpillars, but I especially hate predatory, levitating mutant caterpillars. The minions and magicus can generate shields during combat. Shields protect the whole squad from incoming Furos damage. Okay, cool. These guys can give little shields. This guy back here will kill that. Moonstorm incoming. Get our little guy up here to generate some Luma, and we also need shields. I think a bit of damage from this side, but... Um, oh no, they got stronger. Intervene to make the Fura stronger. Alright, we need to focus on the leader. Channeling life force into the leader. Oh dear. You'll be fine. All right, so we have our special that we can use. Who's this? Amara. How about a helping hand from the Queen of Arcs? Um, damn, she sliced them all up. Amara, but how did you find us? It wasn't so difficult. The moon herself just released an insane amount of energy. That is the downside of power. The moon cannot hide its presence. Also, Galdir has never been very good at stealth. 
which has her own old mobility, activate energy, Queen's Dance, gain plus three attack on one turn, plus three HP. All right, activate that. This guy, oh, that activated over there, that's fine. Um, he's already dead, cool. Bam, down he goes. And we've got a meta cube used to mutate minions and magickers. The area is heavy, heavily populated. Metacube is useful to find Shrinya Arcana and tailor an effective strategy. Which mutates single power in your Arcana. Alright, so you mutate this guy and he, um, he will also gain the ability to make shields every turn. Or generate plus two shields in each squad. Hmm. Scout. Alright guys, let's break here and uh, we'll be back with the next mission here. Alright, thanks for tuning in everyone.